So we created uh, Alea Play more than eight years ago. And we, we use the, the technologies that they use in, in this moment that was a monolith uh, with PHP, MySQL. We had problems in terms of latency, in terms of performance. So we decided to build from scratch the, the Alea Play, just adding a new schema and just uh, using the new technologies and the technology advanced that were in the, in the market. So we decided to build from scratch using Java microservice and then put the, the code in the Amazon cloud. So have these technologies in the, in the cloud, you can have platforms more robust, adding more security in your platforms, be more scalable. Always I try to say to my team that the key of, the, of when we develop something, we need to use these three principles, are robots, secure and scalable. So for example, to put in a little bit context, we processed around 25 requests per second and we had a lot of problems. And today we are processing more than 500 requests per second. So this is because we are using a scalable cluster and our, our servers scale based on demand. Automatically they, they scale and decrease the number of servers. This is a good thing because we pay per cost. So based on the traffic, we have more machines or less. So in terms of the cost, also it's a, it's a benefit. When you are using microservice, you can choose for each feature which technology you, you can use. So if, for example, you need uh, to create something uh, for invoicing, you can choose another technology completely different that uh, manage games. You can use Java and then for another, Python, and then, for example, also for the databases. As I mentioned before, we are processing a lot of transactions per second. We need a database that can process that millions of requests per second. So we decided to use DynamoDB. So this is the powerful of using microservice. You can choose for each feature which technology is the, is the best. For me, I decided also to join Toalea because it was a challenge, an opportunity to decide how we can do the things that I think that should be the, the, the perfect or not the perfect or the, the, the best way. I don't like the word legacy code. For example, I always try to, to my team to update the code. The, one of the ways of clean code is just if we have legacy code, try to work on that to update it. Just because if you have legacy code, nobody wants to go there. So if you want to continue developing, you need to, to forget the legacy code and try to, all the code was updated because the engineers want always to, to work with uh, technologies that has more hype or, or, they are, or are more trendy. So we are always trying to update the code. And for example, if uh, we are using always the last version of Spring Boot, we are always trying to use the last version of Java ju just for that. We have two different roadmaps right now. So in one side, we want to continue the, uh, adding more features in Alea Play as aggregator. Our idea is, uh, as I mentioned before, have a lot of features where and the clients say, OK, I will integrate with Alea. And I don't only have games. I have games, I have BI, I have bonus, I have thumbnails, I have, um, I don't know, probably tomorrow gamification, um, something with machine learning uh, to add more features uh, to the casino. So this is one, one challenge. And then in another side, we are trying to, for the first MVP, to create a casino platform. So this is completely another new, new, new business. But for the, as a game aggregator, the idea is that, is that the client see us as a, as a partner, a tech partner, not just a game aggregator, it's as a tech partner. So I connect uh, through Alea and I only need to take traffic. Just that, because games, because bonus, because uh, gamification, because recommendations is made by Alea. The thing that is very important is to convince the clients to, to, to connect to Alea. I think that it's not enough to offer a game aggregator because imagine that one client, they connect directly to the, to the game providers because they were in the market 10 years ago, so they connect to more than 100 softwares. So we need to offer more than that. We can offer better prices, so this is one, one thing, but sometimes they can achieve this kind of prices. So we need to do something to offer more. During the, the last three years, we developed an ecosystem of satellite projects that we give more, more value to our customers. For example, we develop a, a, a BI system so we can offer BI to our clients. B 
API is, is something complex, is something very expensive. So we can offer this, this knowledge that we have to our clients and they can see which are the countries more affordable, profitable for them, which are the VIPs, etc. So we can offer this, uh, this data. Also, for example, we have created a bonus engine, so we can give bonus uh, or work with the bonus with our system. It's nice to connect directly to, to each integrator. And then, for example, the last feature that, that we provide is thumbnails. So we add a, a tool that we create automatically thumbnails for each game. For create one thumbnail, you can take two hours, three hours, you need a designer. So we have created a tool that in seconds we can create a lot of thumbnails with different ratios, with different versions, with high quality, uh, less quality for SEO, for, for just to, to have in your website. So the client, without a, a, a design department, they can have more than 10,000 thumbnails with different ratios. So this is one example that we want to start offering. So create more features, just for adding more value to our customers.